Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I am back with the Missing Person series. Being me, because I was gone for three months, so I missed out on a lot of cars that came out. But, as you can see by the little hint of this sexy blue McLaren, we're gonna go ahead and pick up another McLaren that I saw that drop, and I never got it. Also, I kinda need to turn around and get back to the festival, so we're gonna teleport over there, grab the McLaren, test, take it for a test drive, stock, and then upgrade it, and then really take it for take it into the race and see how it handles against some competition. All right, so on the car pass, the last vehicle we just did, last video, if you guys haven't seen it, is the Toyota Tacoma. It's a pretty good thing. It has great customization. Definitely get it. it is it the, like the best truck? No, it's 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 a fun truck. Definitely pick it up. But there was a vehicle that happened in the past that I completely missed out on. Kind of sad. We're gonna go back. Nope, it's not this. It's not that, even though I do want to do this for Fast and Furious. That's going to be sick. No, still not that. No tuna with no crust. You got to keep going. It's not there. We're still going. Here it is. It's the new McLaren that I completely missed out on. It's a 620R. How did I miss this? I, You know, it's I saw it like on my Twitter. I saw it. They dropped. I said, oh, I should probably go on Forza. I was playing Elden Ring at the time. And other games, and I completely forgot. Oh, Mr. Nick has his own uh, livery. That's kind of sick. Not gonna lie, it's kind of cool. Do we want to? I think we have to get a cool livery on it, dude. What? What are we feeling? Are we feeling this the basic orange, or what are we? What are we feeling with this vehicle? Those be the real question. So this first step is obviously we gotta get a good livery for it. So we can't can't just be out here slack and keyword. Oh, we can just search. Okay, let's just do search then. I'm not sure what we want to do with this thing. I don't want to be too crazy. But then again, I don't want it to be not loud at the same time. I want it, I want people to know this McLaren means business. Um, I'm not too sure on these liveries, to be honest. What are we... I don't know what we're feeling around these parts. Um, I don't know what color. Let's go with a basic color for right now. Oh, that is the... Oh, that's the basic. And then this is the... You know what? We'll leave it as this. I think we should just honor what we got and leave it as this. And we'll just leave it as that. Obviously, the rims, we're going to have to change. The rims is kind of, eh. They're okay. They're not the greatest looking rims. They're they're just, they're, mm, they're mm, the rims. I don't know how I feel about those rims. Uh, all right. Let's see what this thing can do. Uh, all right. So we're on the high with the McLaren. I don't know too much about the 620R, but I know it has a twin turbo V8. It produces around, I think it's what, 612 horses? Not too shabby. It's another McLaren, another spaceship, another beautiful interior, because I'm sorry, McLaren may probably be best interior out of all the supercars. Uh, it, it's just too, it's just, it's, it's spaceshipy, like, it's wild. Uh, doesn't sound too shabby. Now, is it the fastest? Doesn't seem to be. Also, we're going the wrong way on the highway. Just noticed that. Decent brakes, not the not the greatest brakes though. We definitely got to change the livery. Delivery is this. this I'm I'm kind of not liking this livery now. I see it. It's not not looking too hot. It sounds very good though for a V8. Not too shabby. Sounds pretty good from inside the cockpit though. That that is a, that's always a thing. It's gotta sound nice. We're really digging it. Not too shabby. All right. I want to see if this thing has any customization. What can we do to it? And then obviously we'll have a speed montage. So let's get back into the festival. We're now here for customization. What can we do engine wise? Obviously the V8. Very loud. Love the pop. That's, that's nice. And a V10. We'll keep it V8. The V10 doesn't sound that great to be honest. It is rear wheel, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it rear wheel now. <gasps> Ooh, I think we got some customization. Now we're talking. Let's go. What do we got? Ooh, I've watched Steiner. Okay. Ew. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Ah, where's the one? Get out of here. Oh, guess we got the Vorsteiner kit. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I love that little lip spoiler connecting to the tail lights. That is beautiful. And it's got carbon fiber too. Ooh. Oh, it had a little one, but it's not as dramatic as that. And also, we got the big boy diffuser down here. Versus the little baby diffuser to the big boy diffuser. Get the big boy diffuser. What do we have up front? <gasps> Ew, we're just taking off the street look. Get out of here with that. We gotta keep the roof scoop. I have a weakness for roof scoops, not gonna lie. 
But now, for what we're here for, speed montage. Guys, we just pulled out. This is the finished product. It's looking mighty fine. Put some rotiform rims on it. Let's go ahead and see this bad boy in drone. Most of you guys can see this thing. Just breathe in uh, the nice environment instead of it being a static picture. There we go. We have a very nice looking 620R right here. This thing looks so clean. I love these rotiforms we put on here. Uh, also, we went with a bit, you know, the classic orange lever we had to. Um, I love the, the paint on the diffuser back here. It literally looks clean. So we're gonna go find the race. Obviously, we'll change it to daytime. It's kind of nighttime right now. Uh, but this thing looks so so clean. Let's see if it can live up again to its McLaren brethren's in a race. All right, we gotta see if this thing lives up to it. It's got 906 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque. We gotta see. We gotta see what you can do. Can can you be good? Let's see here. Okay, we're taking the outside on him right now. This thing's moving. Oh, we're humming. Ooh. Again, doesn't have the highest top speed, but I'm guessing, you know, traction, traction-wise, this seems to be very, ooh. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna have my new McLaren. This thing's very sticky. Great brakes, too? Okay, I see you. McLaren just loves making some banger vehicles, don't they? I think that McLaren GT is the only McLaren I'm not the biggest fan of in this game. The rest of them so far I like. Uh, as you guys can see by the beginning of the video with that blue McLaren that was driving around. Going the reverse of the Goliath here. This thing is not too shabby at all. It's also a very nice sounding V8, which is... You know, some V8s sound pretty good, other V8s don't sound too hot. This one, obviously, some McLaren, so it better sounded good. Or problems with it trying to get sent out to the people who wanted to buy this car. Also, I love this orange. Props to uh, Jari, who made this livery. Very nice livery. Um, guys, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. I'm actually considering putting some try not to laughs on the channel because I watch so many of them and uh, I love memes. I don't know about you guys, but memes, it's just, it's just perfect. So I'm thinking about adding that to the channel besides the anime content, just to spruce it up a little bit and uh, you, know, you, know, have, you know, mess around, you know, something like that. Let me not drive off the cliff there, that would be off the road really. This thing has some supreme brakes. It's definitely a, tr a track uh, McLaren, like the Senna. Now, is it, is it brake better than the Senna? Absolutely not. The Senna literally is one of the greatest vehicles I've ever driven in Forza. Hopefully, I'll get the honor to get into a McLaren Senna and maybe drive on one day. That would be awesome. Uh, but so far, th th this is... Uh, Forza gets me as close as possible to getting closer to... Uh, or like the being like, you know being able to chill and drive all these awesome vehicles all these dope manufacturers and that right there ladies and gentlemen is the McLaren 620R this thing is a blast to drive if you somehow you missed it like I did dumb idea definitely pick the vehicle up it is a must have in the garage and again it's not even at the top of S2 this thing can hold its own around the corners again if you're racing and it's not a straight this thing's gonna tear but thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'm out of here. Jesus.